Hello everyone, welcome to Akash College Review Series. Today in this video, we are going to talk about one of the National Institute of Technology that has gained immense popularity and high reputation in the recent years. I'm talking about NIT Delhi. In this video, we'll talk everything about NIT Delhi, its campus, nerve ranking, placements, scholarships, cutoffs, admission criteria and the admission process. So let's first talk about the institute. National Institute of Technology, Delhi is one of the 31 NITs of the nation. It was established in the year 2010 and has been declared as an institute of national importance. Spread in 51 acres land, NIT Delhi is currently ranked as 51 in the NERF ranking, which is a significant jump from its previous year ranking, which was 194. Now, that itself is a testament to the university's commitment to excellence. So, if you are still wondering if you should go for NIT Delhi, then here are some facts that you must know about this NIT. The National Institute of Technology Delhi is the premier public technical university located in Delhi, India. There are two campuses. One is a temporary campus and the other one is a permanent campus located in Narela. Now, the college gets an advantage because of its location. Being located in the capital city of the country, it becomes very accessible for the recruiters to reach here. So more companies reach here in comparison to the colleges which are farther. Now, the next important factor that help you to consider NIT Delhi to be your college is its improved infrastructure. The permanent campus, which is now operational, has unsurpassed infrastructure, state-of-art laboratories and volume for expansion of the students. NIT Delhi provides facilities that includes a central library, separate hostels for boys and girls, an auditorium, a computer center, digital classrooms, a health center, laboratories, and different sports courts such as basketball, cricket, volleyball, etc. Making it a well-equipped campus that fulfills students' requirements and needs. Coming on to placements. Yes, the next important factor is strong placements. The university has a record of placing its graduates in good jobs. In NIT Delhi, in the year 2021, the highest packet stood at 46 lakhs per annum, whereas the average packet stood at 10 lakhs per annum. Whereas in the year 2022, the highest package was recorded as 82 lakh per annum and the average package was recorded as 17.72 lakh per annum with almost 100% placements. The three branches, Computer Science Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering and Electrical and Electronics Engineering received the maximum placements in the year 2022-23. CSE branch got 98.33% placements with average salary package of 18.32 LPA. Triple E branch received 79.5% nine percent placements with 18.11 LPA as the average salary package whereas placements in ECE branch were 76.09 with 16.25 LPA as average salary package now what do you think would be the reason behind this rise it's the recruiters who are visiting the campus and expressing their interest in hiring the students from NIT Delhi Top companies like Google, Microsoft, Adobe, Flipkart, Walmart, Paytm, Amazon, Zomato, Infosys, etc. visit the college for placements regularly. The next important factor to consider NIT Delhi is its academic programs. The university offers a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So the undergraduate programs offered by NIT Delhi are Computer Science, Electronics and Communication, Electrical and Electronics, Civil Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. B.Tech at NIT Delhi is a four-year program. 
for general category and students with family income exceeding 5 lakh the tuition fee along with institution charges is 80000 rupees per semester the tuition fee for the entire btech degree will cost you around 6.4 lakhs now for students who find it difficult to meet this course fees and expense there are fee waivers and scholarship schemes which is are yet another factor to consider nit delhi fee waivers and scholarship schemes at nit delhi scholarship include government ugc national and state scholarships which includes for sc st or physically handicapped students get 100% tuition fee waiver for general and obc students whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum get full remission of the tuition fee whereas for general and obc students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum there is a remission of 2 third of the tuition fee for further information on scholarships do visit the national scholarship portal the link is given in the description now let's talk about the eligibility criteria for btech at nit delhi candidates seeking admission for the btech program should have higher secondary certificate degree with pcm physics chemistry mathematics or pbm physics biology and mathematics subjects in their class 12th for general or obc or ews the percentage requirement is 75 whereas for st or sc group the percentage requirement is 65 the second important eligibility parameter is to qualify j main meeting the cutoff requirement now one thing to be noted here which is to get an admission at nit delhi 50 percent seats are reserved for home state which means for delhi and chandigarh students whereas the remaining 50 percent seats are made available to the students from other states now let's come on to yet another topic which is cutoff for j mains let's use this cutoff table 2023 as a reference for the upcoming session this shows that candidates from other states who are seeking admission in the computer science branch will have to secure rank around 9500 whereas for home state candidates the required rank is around 13000 for admission in electronics and communication other state candidates require approximate rank 14000 on the contrary home state candidates need to secure 21000 other state students for electrical engineering rank requirement is around 20,000 and home state candidates need 27,000. For mechanical engineering, it's 25,000 for other states and 37,000 for home state candidates. Talking about civil engineering, other state students need 27,000 whereas home state students need to secure rank around 44,000. Now let's come on to the admission process at NIT Delhi. For students willing to take admission in the BTEC program at NIT Delhi, must apply for JEE Main on the official website of NTA. Further, the students are required to register for JOSA or CSAP counselling. Then the eligible students must fill the NIT Delhi admission form that consists of the admission form, the course registration form, the hostel registration form, undertaking form, fee receipt of the institute balance fee payment and supporting documents. So keeping all the points that we have discussed, I think considering NIT Delhi to be your college would be a good decision. So this was all for today's video. I hope you found the information important and relevant for your research. Thank you so much and stay connected for more such information. <laughs>